I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 282, where I'm going to show you how to auto-fit column widths within Quantrix Modeler. I've been using Quantrix for nearly 14 years now, and I'm still learning a few nuances about the product. And I came across one today, and I wanted to share it with you. If I have a list of accounts here, and I have some metrics such as sales, cogs, gross margin, and then I have my years here, what I would like to do is I would like to auto-fit these column widths. If I go out here and I hover between the columns until I get my double arrow, as seen here, what I can do is if I double click on this, it goes ahead and it auto fits it to the year, the column that I've selected. What can I do to get it to auto fit, say, sales, cogs, and gross margin all at the same time? Again, if I highlight all these, I go ahead and I double click on this, it auto fits to the year. If I were to go ahead and move metric down here so it's at the second level, and then I were to auto fit this. I were to highlight all of these and I double click on it. Then what happens is Quantrix is actually auto fit to the metric of sales, cogs, and gross margin. So what I've discovered is that if I want to auto fit something, auto fit works to the lowest level of my um, kind of position of my. Uh, category tiles within the column matrix. So again, if I were to take year to the top and I wanted to auto fit on it, so again, if, say I were completely expanded or something like that, and if I wanted to auto fit here, it wouldn't auto fit to uh, this higher metric or to this higher category. It would first auto fit to this lower one here of year. So as a rule, uh, Quantrix does an auto fit to the lowest level of the category that you have over here in your column tray. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I really do want to make you a Quantrix master. So I hope you join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.